Rogers. So I've made it to Ossipee Lake, I think in Ossipee, New Hampshire, and uh, I already got my boat set up for this tournament, the Slay Nation event number 10. It is about 6.30 in the morning, so we still have about half an hour before we all launch, but I've never been here before, and the water here is very, very clear. But my partner and I already kind of made up a plan. Well, I've heard this spot is actually pretty tough to fish. So because I'm actually with a new partner for this tournament, I'm just really hoping for five 12 inches. I'm not trying to come out and win, although that would be great. If I can catch a limit today, I think we'll actually be looking pretty decent. Yo, can you set this up? They're cheating. Just to get both of us. Good enough? Good enough. Like, what do you think? Like that? How wide of an angle is it? Good enough? Uh, that GoPro can be stood back up somehow. Yeah, I can probably figure a way. Yeah, I can probably figure a way. Like, look at all that good grass to the right. Do you have a monkey butt whopper plopper? Well, you, you were whopper plopper. I can do that. Okay. They have one in the front, one in the back. Okay, so this thing Dude, look at the river we have to go back up at the end of the day. Right here. in this lake there's, right there's not <laughs> there is none that's what i've seen personally right? but over there there'll be a 500 oh boats there but, all right so that's a problem um that's about 200 if you want to pop it in reverse we'll hold on to you Those fish. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of on the yes side of that. Oh, dude, I brought you your nets. I sorry, I didn't say anything. I might not need them yet. Oh damn, you brought me. Those are all yours. No, yeah, sorry, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah. All that in different shit. And he's like, you have to be that to fit in anywhere anymore. Off with a jig worm. Now a jig worm is a very good kind of northern bait and what it is is just kind of basically a big ned rig and uh i also bought this new reel it's a shimano miravel super lightweight and i just reeled in my first cast with it as you guys can tell i don't have a lot of line but uh yeah as you guys can tell i did not have a lot of braid left so i definitely have to uh make sure i don't cast very far but i'll just make sure my drag is nice and tight you know how we've gone over like the clean blue? Like, like, and all it takes is like, like for example, I don't like fake tape. Don't like them. Yeah. Never had good luck on them. Never. Like, yeah. Yes, let's do it. Should we even fish these? At the, the boat? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. Across the lake, there's no motors. Yeah. But we I completely agree. Yep. Yeah. Get that wet. You think it's worth it? Then yeah, we should go in there, but... This is Jake's head. I like to understand where it's just a... Oh. It's just a hook, you know what I mean? 
can't be off the boat. Not gonna lie, this place looked a little bit more clear on Google Maps. Right, let's switch back to the Ned. Four and a quarter inch flatworm. It's gotta get me a little something something, right? Hypothetically. that here gotta go back to the wacky you can captain well actually I guess I'll put it in a new battery I already have the net. Oh, really? The net is in the Fucking crankbait? Your leader dog. Not my leader, my not the whopper flopper dude. Got him. No. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Get the net. Big one too, big one. Big one too, dude. Coming over, coming over to you. Yes! No, 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 no. Oh my god, I thought he was way bigger. Oh, me too. I thought he was way bigger than that. On the net, huh? Just a 12 and a halfer. I can see the weeds right there. Ooh, I just had like a bluegill or something on. Got one. I don't know. Oh, white perch. I've never seen a white perch. What we should do is keep them. There's some good loins right there.
Eh. You have the better idea, I think, with the whopper plopper. I don't know if I can catch anything on a net. Let's break out the bait caster. There we go. That's what I mean. Oh. So what? After we fix this, it will jump the gravy fill off? Yeah, let's just go. Oh, dude, biggin'. Biggin'. Get, get out there. Get out there. Oh, I got... Did you feel it? You I know it? I saw it. So it missed? Yeah. Oh, you should have gone finesse. Might be the first time this year. And buoys typically produce pretty good for me. You got a registration for that? Yes, I do. It's on this side. It's on that side. Is it there. registered in the state of New Hampshire? Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, it has to be on both. Both? Oh, I was just about to ask. Well, actually, I just thought we had to have that green sticker on both So you sides. don't know that? Well, we kind of looked up this morning and got the green sticker, so. Yeah, I actually registered my bow yesterday. So right, hold on, don't let me crash it either. Oh, cool. All right, so. Are you Nathaniel Andersetch? Uh, Anders. Anders. Yep. Nathaniel Anders. So, Nathaniel, let me explain something to you, okay? It's a big problem, okay? I just issued a guy in. Um, that's about 200 bucks. Did you want to pop it in the... Did you check? I did, right? Okay. Look, I give you a warning, okay? Be careful out here, okay? I'm giving you a warning for the no bow numbers on the port side. Absolutely. Good luck. Have a good one. I hope you catch something. We're going to need a lot of that. One 12 inch here today. You're just now taking off your slush, you're just not. It's 11. 10.59. So it is 10.59 right now. Felt a snap and I'm just waiting to hear this please. Well, that's unfortunate. Was that because I hit your line? Yeah. So it is 11 o'clock right now. We have one 12 inch here. Now, we only have a couple more hours to fish only because it did take us an hour to get all the way back here. So we do have to save quite a bit of time to get all the way back. Uh, I think quarter of an ounce. I think so too. I have that on camera. I can, uh, so? Well, no, I can clickbait the video. Oh, Pulled nice. over by Marine Patrol. Oh, yeah, I'd watch it. And then the beginning of the video, I'll put the clip of him saying uh, that'll be a $200 ticket. Yep, there you go. You're looking at a $200 ticket. So you can work some magic. Yeah, I can work some editing magic. Well, that point, point, that point there. That, those aren't points. Yeah, that one's pointy. No. That one's really pointy. That's the point. Oh, a little bit. A little bit of action in the space. Yeah. There's a lot of these little golf points to get out. I mean, we haven't caught them yet. Beautiful. No, I don't want to race. I was gonna ask where uh, my other fishing pole was, but it's right there.
There we go. There we go. He's gonna jump. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Oh, come on. Oh, yes. you know, making me work for that one. Oh, she a keeper. That's a, that's nice a keeper. That's one. number two, that Ned. All right, that's fish number two for me. On the net, that's second fish on the net. I might just stick with the Ned bait for a little bit. All right, it looks wicked shallow over here. We might just have to uh, yeah, bail. bail. been a couple days since that tournament and that tournament was tough it was windy there was well over a thousand boats out on the water that day but the thing was it was tough for everybody now we came back at the end of the tournament with two keepers now the tournament started at 7 a.m and it ended at 3 p.m and to be honest, a lot of this tournament was travel. It took us well over an hour to get to our first spot. Then we kind of had to calculate the hour back to the launch. And fighting with the other boats, fighting the waves, fighting the wind, it was definitely a tournament to remember. Those two keepers we caught were good enough for second place this tournament. First place team only caught three fish. So like I said, it was pretty tough for everybody. Being said, the person who was in first place for Angler of the Year skunked at Ossipee. So with those two fish that I caught during this tournament, that bumped me and my partner up to first place for Angler of the Year. But the catch is we're only one inch above the second place person with one tournament left to go. So the pressure is on. We have to do good at this last tournament at Lake Winnipesaukee in order to win first place for Angler of the Year. And the next team tournament for Slay Nation is going to be the last one. It's also going to be the championship and I am so excited. Lake Winnipesaukee is another lake that I've never fished before. I've been to. I've been to it just kind of for fun not to fish. So I'm definitely gonna have to go out and practice. Luckily though my partner has been there quite a few times. What do you want? What do you want? But anyway, I caught both my fish on the Ned Rig. I didn't catch him on the Jig Worm. Once I kind of switched down to that little finesse flatworm, then that's when I got our keepers. But I really got to finish up this outro. My battery is about to die for this camera. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.